But tell us, so you beat Flair for the world title? Wednesday night, Richmond, Virginia. Yes, was it, I was then they never acknowledged it? Or no, 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 it was. Okay, and uh, this is it. I went coming to back, and there's Jimmy Crockett and uh, Dusty Rhodes. Oh, and that's just right down Dusty's alley. You're the world champion. We're going to have to let Robert go. Oh, wow. Here's the belt back. I don't want it. No. So the, there's pictures, uh, and mind you, I, I never thought, I saw a picture of him holding the world belt. It's a black and white. He has his uh, black and yellow. Notorious yeah. the Bumblebee tie tie. That's right, when I come through the door. That's the right. Door. But, um, you know, that was the only photo I thought that existed from that night until there was a fan that recently reached out, and uh, he said I was in attendance. And, and mind yeah. you, it sees him as he went. And, you know, mind you, it's, it's an old Polaroid or some sort, but it still has his hand raised up the belt in the air. And, and, and it, Rick never... And this will tell me after this is over. Rick never really acknowledged it because I don't know what kind of he was in. I didn't want to mess with him. Yeah. Uh, but I, I know somebody asked Rick one time about it. And he says, Ricky Bort could have had a great run as a world champion. So they put you over in Richmond. Yes. In Virginia. And then after the match was done, pulled a power play to see if you would stay in line. Give uh, You're the champ, but Robert see if fired. He, he wanted to break us up so bad. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, and now I never had a contract. Now this is a, a story that happened. We were in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, and Robert come to the door, and he's not talking. He's real quiet over here in the corner. So I go over to Robert Swan. He goes, "I got hurt last night because the boys were in there." And I went, mm. went back and sat down. I'm thinking to myself, "Hell, he never got in the ring," <laughs> you know. So. Uh, then I go back over and I ask him, I said, Robert, what happened to you? And, you know, he pulled his pants down and his leg was black as my socks. And he, he said, my wife ran over me in a car. So uh, this is another example of what I'm telling you about me giving the bell back. Okay. So I went to the ring and I told Robert, I said, just get to the ring. And when you come in the ring fall, I would take care of everything for you. You know, we were wrestling Butch Reed to do, but I didn't tell them. And he come in the ring and fell, mind over matter. Butch Reed go, what you drunk? And I went, did you hear his knee pop? Mm. Next thing you know, everybody on the front row heard his knee pop. Of course. Okay. They sent him to the University of Alabama. They did that. Re- front. He got two grand a week, and I have nothing. But here's another example. Dusty wanted to put me with Brad Armstrong to be the new Rock and Roll Express. I didn't have a job, you know. Right. But Dusty did like me enough. He said, okay, you got a choice. You go with Brad Armstrong or I can turn you heel. You work underneath getting everybody over. And they put me with the York Foundation. And that's how that occurred. Mm. Okay. And as soon as uh, Robert came back, you know, he supposed to have been back in four months, but he laid on the beach for a year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Capital Combat. I wrestled Robert there with Alexander York. I did the finish. Ba boom in him. I rolled out of the ring, went to the back. And me and Robert took off to Johnson City, Tennessee. Smoky Mountain Championship wrestling. Oh, wow. Yes. That's right. I just, we vanished out of this thing. And, uh, and I told him that the night in New Jersey, because, you know, this is all I was fighting over the money. And Dusty got mad at him the night before. And uh, they, they had, like, two guys going to beat us in a match. I said, oh, okay, okay. Are they going to beat us? And I went right out of the ring, put them over in, like, 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. All right, and rolled out of the ring, went back. And they called us in a room. That was, the, And uh, this is before the Capital Combat thing, because they brought us back. You know, they, they fired us right in. They see a York Foundation with WCW, too. And they fired us. Okay, we're in New York City. We're on the plane. Okay, now tell them, I said, well, okay, you've called me today. They got us all the way in New York and fired us. Mm. And, and we're on a thing. I had to get my own way home. Jeez. And I did, and i never forget this. Jimmy Crockett was sitting there. I said, Jimmy and Dusty. I says, you're going to fire us. That's cool. I said, but I promise you in four months, you go bankrupt. Mm. Three months, he went bankrupt. Wow. WCW had bought him. They was a, they was a, Why did you think he was going to go bankrupt? Because uh, 
Well, one thing, expenses. me and Robert were over, yeah. and the expensive that's, that somebody was spending. Jimmy Crockett went out and bought Kansas City territory for like $8 million. Mm. What'd you buy it for? Mm. All you had to do is just go run it. Just run there, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to give him $8 million for? Betting that's $8 yourself. million dollars that could have yeah, went could, well, to yeah, the, the kids. Boys, I mean, yeah. went to the boys. Yeah. You know, and Chris, we, we didn't uh, – you know, we have travel agencies. You know that, don't you? If you flew, you flew yourself. Mm. Uh, when you got a motel, you paid for it yourself. Of course, yeah. And, and it was hard, and, and especially on the loop that I was on. I mean, now, especially when I did the gimmick with Flair, you know, they didn't have, like you said, you didn't have travel agencies. And I'm telling Jimmy Crockett, uh, you know, one, one night I'll be in Miami, and next night I'm in Los Angeles, California. And then the next night I'm in New York. Then I fly to Tokyo, Japan, yeah. and do an hour Broadway with Ric Flair and fly back. Okay, and I'm not here. They didn't invent monster drinks then. 